me, Mr. Sohn, today. Today, we're going to be focusing on similar solid shapes, and that would be any shape like a cube or a sphere or cylinder or any three-dimensional shape, and a similar solid is something that is going to have exactly the same shape, but not going to have the same size. So one of the first things that we will need to do is figure out by looking at two different solids whether or not they actually are similar. And the way you're going to be doing that is by figuring out if the sides of all of these are proportional. And there's a few different ways to do that, one of which is very calculator driven, the other one is not, it's just simplify a fraction type of deal. So what you want to make sure you do is you put the, the correlating sides together, the 12 and the 40, they belong together. So I'm going to put 12 to 40 together. And I'm also going to put the 18 to 60 and the 24 to 80 together. 18 to 60, 24 to 80. And I put the smaller shape first. Um, in some cases, you might want to put the bigger shape first. I'm consistently going to put the smaller shape first in most, most situations. And what we want to do now is just simplify these ratios that we have here and see if they will create the same thing when we're done simplifying it. So the number that we can divide both 12 and 40 by is 2, and we divide both of those by 2, we get 6 to 20. And we can divide by 2 again, and we get 3 to 10. And that's as far as we can simplify that one. The 18 to 60, if we divide both of those by 2, we get 9 to 30, which no longer divides by 2, but then I can divide it by 3, and I can get 3 to 10. So far, so good. They're both a 3 to 10. That's not unusual. We can divide the 24 and the 80 by 2, and we get 12 to 40, which we already had a 12 to 40, so this should simplify the same way. 12 divides by 2, 6 to 20, 6 divides by 2, 3, and 20 divides by 2, 10. All three of these simplified down to a ratio of 3 to 10. And that ratio is known as the scale factor. That means that every time this had 3 feet, this one would have had 10 feet. Every time this one would have had 3 centimeters, this one would have had 10 centimeters. So this right here is what we would call the scale factor. And I label it as SF. Now, I would also say that this is the side ratio. The side ratio is by far the most important ratio as we move forward. Okay? So the next problem we're going to do is going to involve two cones instead of me actually wanting to figure out if these are similar. I'm going to tell you these two cones are similar. But what I want to do is I want to figure out what is the side ratio, what is the surface area ratio, and what is the volume ratio. Okay? So, let's start with the sides. So with the sides we have 180, we also have the 160 and the 200. And you can pick either one of those that you want to use if you know that they are proportional. And then, once you decide which ones you want to use, I'm going to use the 80 and the 100. They look a little bit easier. Um, you can take those and write them right there. Technically, this is the scale factor and the side ratio. Right now. It's not simplified, and in this case, it will be much better if we simplify the scale factor and our side ratio down. So we're going to simplify this down to 40 and 50 when you divide them both by 2. And then they both divide by 10. Um, and if you divide 40 by 10, you get 4. If you divide 5 by 10, 50 by 10, you get 5. And that is the simplified scale factor and side ratio. So, that would be the simplified one. The next thing that we would like to do, I said that we were going to find the surface area 
ratio. That is a huge aspect of this. If we were not finding the ratio, we wouldn't have even been able to simplify it. Simplifying it makes it easier, but we have to simplify it to make it easier to find the ratio, but we can't do that if we were just finding the surface area. The way we find the surface area ratio is by taking these numbers and squaring them. You take the side ratio and you just square it. And you can kind of see why I wanted to simplify it. I didn't want to do 80 squared and 100 squared. It's a whole lot easier to do 4 squared and 5 squared. While we're still here, I am also going to be finding the volume ratio, which I would find the volume ratio by taking the side ratio and instead of squaring it, raising it to the third power. So that will be 4 to the third and then the 5 to the third. And then all we have to actually do is what is 4 to the third, 5 to the third, what is 4 squared and 5 squared? Well, 4 squared is 16 and 5 squared is 25. 4 to the third power is 4 times itself 3 times, 4 times 4 times 4 happens to be 64. And 5 to the third is 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times itself 3 times is 125. So we have the side ratio here. We got the surface area ratio here. And this one would be the volume ratio. 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So for our next problem, we're going to be trying to find the scale factor, which is really just the side ratio. But instead of being given the shape, uh, we're going to be given either the surface area in this case, but it could have been the volume. So what you want to do here is you want to actually take these numbers and either simplify them, but maybe not simplify them completely. You want to simplify them until they become something that is either square rootable in this case, or cube rootable if it were in the volume. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 375 and the 960 and we are going to simplify them. Now it is important that you recognize we're only doing this when we want to find the scale factor. We would not do this if we actually wanted to find the sides of the shape. So we're going to probably simplify this when they both divide by 5. 375 divided by 5 is 75. And 960 divided by 5 is 192. And these both divide by 3. And when you divide 75 by 3, you get 25. And when you divide 192 by 3, you get 64. So you're looking for numbers like this. Because this is surface area, you actually want to recognize this as being the side squared to the side squared. Okay? So if this 25 is representative of the side squared, then the side would just be the square root of 25, which is 5, and the square root of 64, which is 8. Okay? So one thing that I always say is the scale factor is the side to the side. The surface area ratio is the side squared to the side squared. And the volume is going to be the side of the third to the side of the third. So for our next problem, we're given the surface area of two different cylinders. And we're asked to find the volume ratio. And when you have cylinders, as well as spheres or anything with a circle, you might have a pi in your formula or in your ratio. And it's just nothing to be aware of, uh, worried of. You just want to almost forget that it's even there. So I'm going to set up my proportion. I'm going to do 175 pi to 7 pi. And this actually does simplify, and the pi's can divide off, just like we were dividing by 2 or 3 in the previous problems. You can divide by pi, and they just go away. 175 to 7. And this actually looks like it's simplified completely. 
Um, but if these numbers are not square rootable, odds are it is not simplified completely. And in this case, you can divide them both by seven. If you divide seven by seven, you get one. And if you divide 175 by seven, you get 25. And now this makes a little more sense because 25 to one, they're both square rootable. And if this is surface area, then this is representing the side squared to the side squared, just like the inches squared. And if we square root the 25, you get five, and the square root of one is one. Well, that would be the scale factor, which is the side ratio. If I wanted to find the volume ratio, well, that's no big deal. You always want to find that scale factor, which is the side ratio first, but in order to find the volume ratio or even the surface area ratio, you just have to take that side ratio. And if you square it, you get the surface area ratio. If you raise it to the third power, you get the volume ratio because the volume ratio is side to the third and side to the third. So five to the third is five times five times five, 125. The volume uh, ratio with one to the third would make just one because one times one times one is one. So there it is. All right, that's gonna be doing it for today's episode. Until next time, have a good one, everybody. Bye.